One of the biggest changes in Formula E in season five is the battery. It's the beating heart of this beast and where all the energy is stored to power the Gen 2 car. For this season, the new battery is supplied by McLaren Applied Technologies, who have developed a battery that lasts the duration of an entire race. And this makes the car swap a thing of the past. The amount of usable energy stored within the battery has almost doubled. It's risen from 28 kilowatt hours to 54 kilowatt hours. The cars are also more powerful, producing 250 kilowatts, which is a 50 kilowatt increase in quali mode and 200 kilowatts in race mode. And that allows for speeds of up to 280 kilometers an hour, the fastest Formula E cars yet. Now, as with many modern applications, just like your laptop or your phone, the battery is made up of multiple lithium ion cells, blending a range of liquid metals to provide the best trade-off between energy density and temperature control with the added requirement of efficient charging and usage. Now, keeping the batteries at the right temperature is also very important because if they're too cool, then the internal resistance of the battery increases, which then reduces the amount of iron flow, meaning that less energy is available. If the battery is too hot, the battery may discharge too quickly, whilst also damaging its life. This is something that McLaren have had to consider when developing the battery, as well as within the design of the car itself to ensure that there is the right cooling necessary. Now to power the motor, the battery must pair up with the inverter. Producing DC or direct current, the battery can only discharge in one direction. The electric motor in the Formula E car requires a supply of AC, alternating current, usually in a three-phase arrangement where three sets of current waves are transferred through the system to ensure a constant supply of power and to keep that motor turning. The inverter takes the DC current and turns it into AC, ensuring that the motor is able to use that energy in the battery to power the fastest breed of Formula E cars yet.